All right, first of all, thank you and welcome to all the uh, new subscribers to the channel. Hopefully I can be of help in the future. If you have any projects or anything you're uh, struggling with, go ahead and drop a comment. See if I can help you out or make a video on it. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and take a step back from all the um, deeper diving projects and we're going to set up what I feel is an essential backbone to any home lab or smart home setup. We're going to install a hypervisor to run virtual machines on. If you watch any of my other videos, you see I run Docker a lot to, uh, you know, run various services that would help facilitate what we're trying to do in Home Assistant. You've seen the Broadlink and uh, Plex and whatnot, and I run them all on a virtual machine. My hypervisor of choice is ESXi. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, you can do this on any laptop, junk computer. I'm personally using an Intel NUC. It's the uh, brain of my home lab here. But go ahead and go to VMware.com. You're going to have to create an account to download. Um, so do that. And when you get in, it's downloads, free product downloads, vSphere hypervisor. Go ahead and manually download. All right, if you don't already have Rufus, go ahead and download it now. We're gonna use this to create our bootable drive. Uh, once you've got it, go ahead and open it up. Select your USB drive, and let's go ahead and find the image we just downloaded. And just go ahead and make that happen. Go ahead and get in your boot menu here. And go ahead and whatever you're on, boot from USB so we can pop this open. Should get this screen here. It's going to take a second. All right, and go ahead and continue. Uh, F11, accept and continue. Get this setup continuing. And go ahead and drop it on your main hard drive. I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, reinstall it for your guys' benefit. Set your root password and install. All right, and just go ahead and remove your USB drive and reboot. All right, once everything's started up here, go ahead and hit F2. Uh, we're just gonna set up a static IP before we go ahead and disconnect the keyboard monitor from this thing. Uh, configure management network, IP4. Uh, go ahead and check set static. Uh, it's already got the info in for me. Um, 
the router probably already assigned this because like I said I just had it set up but um, go ahead and enter your IP your subnet and your gateway and hit OK go ahead and escape out apply the changes and from here just go ahead and like I said disconnect your keyboard disconnect your monitor because we are going straight to the web UI alright hopefully you remember the IP you just set because you're gonna go ahead and visit that right now uh, this screen's gonna pop up go to advanced and accept the risk go ahead and log in as root and now we're gonna set up our first virtual machine for our first machine we'll go ahead and get uh, Ubuntu server go ahead and navigate over to the Ubuntu site go to downloads go to server and select option 3 alright once you got the image go ahead and go to your first data store go to the data store browser and I like to create a directory called operating systems and go ahead and find there it is alright once you've uploaded your image to your data store go ahead and pop over to virtual machines create register virtual machine and create a new virtual machine uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video this is just gonna be for docker for me name it whatever you want Linux and Ubuntu Linux 64 bit and here is where the magic happens you can do whatever you want here uh, if you need several cores for your CPU you know make that happen I just want one here we don't gotta go crazy I will give us some more memory I will give us some more hard disk space um, because as I said we're gonna have several services running here and you can actually come back and edit this at any time just gotta shut down the machine go ahead and change your parameters and reboot so anytime you get too big for your own machine just come in here and uh, fix it up we're going to hit data store ISO file here I'm going to pretend we inserted a Ubuntu CD and go ahead and hit next and here it is now you pop up Ubuntu and it thinks it's installing on a brand new machine um, there's a multitude of reasons why this is just beautiful security uh, breaking apart you know different services or if you're really experimental you can just play around and break things and it won't affect the rest of your network um, that's about it I think you guys can install an operating system from here it should help in the future probably do some docker videos get you up to speed on that and if you haven't already but as usual enjoy hopefully it helped and like and subscribe thank you